It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Sally here. It's been brought to my attention that Netflix is going to remake the entire Cowboy Bebop series and they put out the first images for everybody else to see. Now naturally, of course, everybody and their mom saw the images and they did not like the images, not one bit. Before I respond to the clip, I'm not against the whole entire idea of live action adaptations of manga or anime into like the big screen or on Netflix, mostly because if you have a good costume design, a good script, a good director, and a good score, of course everything would turn out just fine. For example, Alita Battle Angel is probably like the best Hollywood adaptation of an anime. Another good example of a manga adaptation is the Lone Wolf and the Cub series where pretty much the whole entire thing was based upon that manga but the whole entire movie franchise was just absolutely brilliant. Another good example of the style, at least in terms of the look, that looks really fantastic were like the adaptations for Full Metal Alchemist as well as Attack on Titan. So to me at least, the material needs to be respected, but there has been so many movies that's been based upon anime that has been like super bad. For example, the Dragon Ball Z Evolution movie was just absolute garbage. Then we have Death Note, which was also absolute garbage on Netflix. And so the track record on the whole entire anime adaptation by Netflix is very low in comparison to like the Japanese creators who are actually, you know, helping out with the live action adaptation of their movies in their own native Japan. As I record this video, I have searched articles about the people behind the production, and it turns out that the original creator of Cowboy Bebop, as well as the composer, is actually helping out with the show. So again, I'm not sure if the show is going to be good or not, I have to wait and see it. But at the same time, it seems as though that they have their own personal input from the original creators to help out with this project. Hey guys, so as you know, our Cowboy Bebop first look dropped today, which was so exciting. And I just wanted to address a couple of things that sort of keep coming up in the comments amongst fans. First, I wanted to apologize to the fans that I did not anatomically match the Faye Valentine character. Um, six foot, double D size breast, two inch waist. You know, they looked everywhere for that woman and they couldn't find her. It's kind of weird. So they just went with my short ass. I know. Am I right? You know, there was talk about like, can we put Daniela in a time machine and maybe give her different parents so she has different genetic information to sort of make her look better? It proved to be too complicated. And the other thing I wanted to bring up was I want to apologize that the outfit I'm wearing is not exactly what she wears in the anime. You know, we tried. Um, but doing stunts in tissue paper, things disappear, they rip. Sometimes it just got lost. Anyway, like I was saying, that original costume, uh, they made a couple of them, but like I said, they got sort of slurped up in my various crevices, never to be retrieved again. So we needed to really build something that could withstand the test of time. So just, you know. The first thing I want to state with this whole entire video response is that it's a really bad strategy to assault your fans. I mean, take a look at the whole entire Star Wars controversy where pretty much people like Ryan Johnson actually assaulted the fans and as a result there was actually much more polarization within the fandom because he actually assaulted the fan so as a point of reference you never ever assault the fans no matter if you actually agree with them or not that's just bad business practice I don't necessarily care if the video was filmed sarcastically or not I think the main point I want to make right here it's the fact that you actually, you know, alienated people from going to your show. Now, there were some people already who are really skeptical about the whole entire idea of a live action adaptation for Cowboy Bebop. And so by doing this, you're actually confirming that you don't necessarily care about your own personal product and does you have bad PR on your end. Not only is it not necessarily a good idea to assault your fans like that by making a video just being sarcastic, but also she made some really false claims in the first minute. She said, of course, that the female character for Cowboy Bebop 
had like double D breasts. Well, look at the picture right here for the original design for the Cowboy Bebop character. When I saw this whole entire design, it does not look to me that she has like double D breasts. I'm not saying, of course, that women should not be sexy. I mean, obviously, there are some characters that aren't meant to be sexy. And so, when I was looking at that image right there, to me at least, I honestly cannot see how that woman was actually, you know, double D, but that's me. When you compare the images of the original design from the anime versus the Netflix adaptation, it seems as though the whole entire design is completely different, and it seems as though that it's like a conceit of effort to make the characters look sexy in comparison to the anime. Now, I searched up on Google the various cosplayers for this character, and obviously, of course, there has been more accurate designs based upon a cosplayer rather than a Netflix adaptation. I'm kind of curious if cosplayers could do a better job at making the designs for the characters in comparison to the professionals. My question to Hollywood is basically this. If there are actually fans who care about the characters could do the whole entire costume design for free at a cosplay event or like some sort of animated convention, how is it that you guys are not hiring these people? Because I'm pretty sure they'll probably add more production value to make the characters look as close as possible. Not only that though, but they're fans of the whole entire project. So by not actually getting a good costume designer, the whole entire look of the show may not be appealing to those who are fans of the original product. Now the main reason why a movie like Alita Battle Angel is really good is because the people behind the productions actually care about the whole entire end product because they're actually fans of the franchise. And so when you get like a lot of people who don't necessarily care about a product, you get shit like Dragon Ball Evolution or the 1998 Godzilla film because obviously the people behind the productions don't necessarily care about the whole entire end result of the product. So what can I conclude from all of this? Number one, do not assault the fans. I repeat, do not assault the fans. Number two, get cosplayers to be your costume designers. And number three, that's the most important thing, find people who are passionate about the product, who are fans of the original source material. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I won't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.